please welcome Seth Rogen, everybody. Seth. Seth. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome and a happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Thank you, yes. I was just uh, smoking a pipe with the leprechaun. Yeah. Uh, that leprechaun enjoys that pipe, doesn't he? He really does. That, that might be the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in <laughs> my entire life. That was, that was yeah, he's pretty scary. The other thing is really he started scary. off kind of, you know, not so Irish and then he got more and more no, Irish. He kind of got into character as yeah, it went on, which I, I, which I respect as an actor. But you know really, the interesting yeah. thing is he gets into character and then he just comes right back out again. He keeps you guessing. Marlon Brando did exactly. that. That's what I say. It's, uh, Absolutely. The yeah. movie looks interesting. That's a bit of a different look for you. Did I you play want... an alien. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's nice because, like, the movie's called Paul, and I play Paul, and I worked on it for like three weeks. So it's, That's uh, awesome. yeah, it's, 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 it's great. I didn't go to set. They shot it in, like, New Mexico. I didn't step foot in the state of New Mexico. Well, no, it was, no, it's a great uh, state. This it, uh, cup comes from New Mexico. Really? Yeah. Well, you, you, know, you, you know what else comes from New Mexico is tons of crystal methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> it arrives exactly, in cups yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's their prime export. Yeah. Do you enjoy the crystal meth? I, I you like, know, you casually. Know. Only yeah. with a leprechaun. That's yeah. my rule. Yeah. If, if, no, they, he's a, do you smoke a lot of the marijuana, though, don't I you? Do, only on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I smoke yeah. green cigarettes. Yeah, that's green cigarettes <laughs> on St. Patrick's my Day. My only rule. Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Do you have a horrible drinking problem or anything like that? No, not at all. Uh, I like to get drunk, so uh, it's a good excuse, generally speaking but in LA people don't get drunk that much no really so uh, it's it's tough because I wait think a minute there was cynical, yeah, 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 there was cynical <laughs> laughter yeah, exactly. from people over there there's one drunk guy who yeah. I, uh, <laughs> it's so spread out it's not conducive to traveling well yeah because it's dri driving you exactly but yeah. a city like New York you can take cabs and subways it's designed to be drunken that's the that's when they put it together exactly. it was when they came over from Ireland they said now we'll need to build these buildings exactly. close together yeah. <laughs> so you you can come out to the pub and cross over just go here. Home. And, yeah. And yeah. If, yeah, and if you're too drunk, we'll make little carts that just take you home and drop yeah. you off. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, the, the taxi thing. It's a yeah. lovely idea. I don't take taxis in L.A. Do you take taxis in L.A.? No, I was actually, I was in a taxi in L.A. a few weeks ago, and uh, it was a full one, because I was going to a party, and I planned on getting drunk. Right. And uh, I was sitting in the, fr every time you sit in the front seat with the taxi guy, it's weird. You're yeah, like, know, you yeah, feel yeah. like you're in some world you're not supposed to be in, yeah. and like... <laughs> And, like, you realize, like, how much stuff they're doing up there while they're driving. Like, yeah. this guy literally had, like, a little espresso machine, and, like, he had, like, he was, like, fully, like, playing Scrabble with someone, oh, like, yeah, on this yeah, thing, yeah. and you're, you're just like, can you, but you don't want to, like, say, like, can you just drive the taxi and not kill me, because cause they're professional drivers, and you and assume they, they know what they're doing, yeah. No, 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 they, not, no, no, they will kill you. Okay, well, yeah, no, no. And then, then they, if you criticize their driving, they will kill you. They'll purposely just drive yeah, into yeah. something, yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll drive, or they'll just fly I'll out kill you. Yeah, they'll just yeah, murder you. Yeah. yeah, they'll drive you out somewhere and then throw you. Yeah. It was lined in plastic, the cab, which could be, uh, they, they were <laughs> getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say, take the same cab home? I didn't. It would have, honestly, but the guy was like, I kept saying, like, do I say something? I'll feel stupid if I die having not said something. But like, <laughs> but like, is it literally worth dying rather than feeling inappropriate saying something to this guy? And, oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I didn't is, say yeah. anything, so obviously I would rather die than say something yeah, in, yeah. inappropriate no, I'm to like a I taxi do. driver. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you don't, I'd rather not say, I don't want to be embarrassed or get no. into any confrontation and just like, well, yeah, let's yeah. all go ahead and just yeah. die. Yeah, and, yeah exactly. Uh, I'll just die. And he'll think he's good at his job still. And yeah, I won't have said anything. Yeah, and no one will be embarrassed, which is worse than death. Worse than death yeah. in a car crash from a Russian guy playing Scrabble it was with a friend. Yeah. A Russian guy? Oh yeah, he was a he was a Russian cab driver. You don't don't get in don't get in a cab with a Russian. Yeah, they. <laughs> Do you know what? If you get, have you ever been to Moscow? I have been to Moscow. Do you know what you get in a cab there? Yeah. And you don't you got to tell them up front where you're going and agree on a price because yeah. if you don't, it's They'll 150 just drive you bucks. Yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, it, Moscow was cold. That was my prime uh, sensory recollection of it. Was like, man, it's just cold here. And did it was, you go to that uh, place, Night Flight, when you went out? No, was, that sounds super weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to night flight. Night flight? Yeah, is there, yeah. Is there leprechauns there? Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> but if by leprechauns you mean... Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Eastern Europe, they're into some weird well, that's, stuff. That's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, yeah. it's just doing? so cold. You got to keep warm and creative ways. Yeah, like a lot, lot of vodka and sex. Exactly. I think, is the way to yeah. Do it. yeah. <laughs> and sometimes there's women there too. So. <laughs> Every once in a, I didn't see any. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in Moscow then? I was promoting. Uh, we did press for Green Hornet in Moscow, oh, actually. Yeah. Right. And uh, I don't know how well it did there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope well. I see Russia. You know, I'm, I'm, my family's originally from Russia. So really? The yeah. Rogans are from Russia? The Rogans are of Russian oh, descent. Right. Yeah, as most big, hairy Jewish guys are. Yeah. <laughs> are, you very, are you very hairy underneath there? It's a mess under here. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's a whole... It's Do you, a whole ever, you ever think about maybe this, like, uh, doing a little kind of, like, maze yeah. or well, something? I got a haircut today, actually. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and to me, the constant debate is, like, where does my neck hair stop and my back hair start? Like, right. where... Yeah. And and it's it's almost like it's like I always think like to how they like must have like divided up the states like back like in a couple hundred years ago in the country there's like eh hey, here's a good place like yeah. that, Nevada right here and that's like that's kind of how it is. Or you can follow the natural line and of the land, the contours, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like around my spine, the hair kind of curves up a bit, and then it kind of recedes down do you, the nape of my. Do you, do you have a hairy ass? I don't actually. Oddly, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm baboon-like in you know, my hair. No, a, a, a lot of ha hairy people. I'm not hairy at all. I'm like a dolphin yeah, under here. But hairy. they. Uh, but a lot of. I, I believe a lot of hairy people are very hairy, and then their asses not hairy at all. Not hairy it's, at all. Luckily, it's, it's like a, a miracle of nature. It's, 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 like, it's better than the alternative. I would say. Yeah. I would, I'd rather be than be hairless and just have a really hairy ass. I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be pretty good because you could kind of like surprise. People. People. Exactly. Yeah. You, you could sit on the floor anywhere yeah. you wanted. Yeah, That's you right. Just, yeah. Nowhere's going to be uncomfortable. No one's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's and you're never going to be cold. You save money on underpants. Yeah, that's <laughs> Do you, <laughs> need do, you, uh, do you spend a lot of money on underpants? Or, uh, $800 a month on underpants. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I get through a lot of I, I well. recently did a full underpants overhaul. Oh, I was really? like, yeah, I was like, none, that's, none that's of these are know. good enough anymore for uh, me. That's when you know uh, you've yeah. arrived in Hollywood. I was like, yeah. Hornet did good, I'm getting new underpants. Right. That, that was, <laughs> That, that's what I decided to treat myself. <laughs> and uh, and I bought some, but I realized it's literally been so long since I bought underpants, the underpants style has changed a little bit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, because it used to be the big wheel and exactly. then the little wheel. And now, that, the, yeah. now there's like, it's kind of, there's it's more contoured and a little more revealing than I'm comfortable with, honestly. <laughs> I think morals have loosened a little really? bit. Really? <laughs> I haven't noticed a more revealing underpant available, because I'm in, exactly. if I can find them. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you to some places. Well, I, <laughs> and I'll send you to Night Flight. Exactly. Moscow, yeah. Night Flight, best yeah. underpants you well, can no, buy. It's, it's not a big underpant joke. No, no, underpantsless, no. yeah. No. So, um, is that what you do then? You spend all your money on things for yourself? Now you're a big movie star? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I disagree with charity consumption. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a refreshing piece of honesty. It Yes, people really have embraced looking charitable, and I disagree with that. Yeah, also. right. Yeah, I, I, I try. You're right, you got some CBS kid. Oh yeah, CBS. <laughs> That's oddly less scary than the leprechaun to me. I have to be totally honest. If I had to be like locked in a dark room with this robot or the leprechaun, I'd pick the robot. I'd well, <laughs> well, the robot is, you know, I mean, you get more than 12 foot from an outlet. It's exactly. completely it's harmless. More stationary, isn't it? Yeah. That leprechaun. No, you don't know where he's going to be It'll next. Scurry up your leg and oh, bite your ear or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And it, and if you. Feel Feed him after midnight. He, he, he multiplies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's mad. You don't want to do that. Hey, listen, we're out of time, Seth. Would you like a, a mouth organ or an awkward pause? Uh, let's do awkward pause. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've just thought of a way to make the pause more awkward. Oh. Mm. Bring on the leprechaun. <laughs> sit right there. Just sit right there, bro. Bring him on. Put, put him right there. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, buddy. Just sit right there. Th this will really freak him out. Let's uh, just uh, uh, right back into the awkward pause. Huh? Seth Rogen, everybody, remember I am on. Seth Rogen, everybody, Seth Rogen.
How you doing? I'm great. How are yeah, you? Uh, you look good. You look you look a little more like yourself, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm evening out. I'm yeah, yeah. You, you got yes. a little too. You went a little twiggy for a while. A I went. Uh, I recently tried to put on one of the suits that I used to wear when I was at my fitness, and I literally couldn't stick one leg. No, through but it. you yeah. look good. You don't look. You don't have. You don't. You, you're not. You know. You're just a. Whew, I've evened know. out. Yeah, you've evened yeah, out. Evened out. Settled down. It's, I think I found out like I do what I assume every other normal human does, which is like eat kind of healthy and exercise sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's taken me 30 years to learn to do that. <laughs> I am 49, and I'm just on the cusp of... Uh, it's hard to do yeah, that. Yeah. Because I normally eat complete uh -oh. constantly really? and do no exercise whatsoever. No, that's bad, man. I know, that's bad. You, you, can't com you bad. combine that with a love of marijuana, you have exactly, a yeah. right there. But uh, I can exercise really stoned, is, the, is my one superpower that, that, I've realized. That, yeah. that is something I've heard about, that people can actually yeah. do that. I've never tried to do both simultaneously, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> Speaking from some experience, you can do squats, but anything else... That's it, nah, yeah. It's not going to work. So, listen, that, he really he did that there with his he head. He shaved his he? head, yeah. That was uh, one take, uh, which was mostly improvised, which is very stupid. You shouldn't yeah. do that. Um, I mean, if you did an improvised show on television or something like that, that would be nuts. Yeah, it would be totally stupid. Yeah, it would be yeah, crazy. Be I crazy. mean, crazy. the yeah. idea of going out every night without any idea of how the show's going to play. <laughs> But if you, he, oh man, you, you gotta rock yourself you up. You gotta be that. crazy. <laughs> but shave your head as you're doing it. And that's yeah. Really, What's up? You ever shaved your head? I did when I was in high school. I, uh, I in retrospect, I was determined to never have sex, so I had dreadlocks. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it's almost as though I made a list of like, what can I do to make sure no girl ever wants to touch my... I can have and, uh, <laughs> and I think uh, being a white guy with dreadlocks is probably like the Ooh, highest thing you can ever there, yeah, like, that, That's like ding, 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 yeah, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that's it, I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, I had dreadlocks for a while when I was like 14 and 15, and then I, you have to cut them off. There's only one way to get rid that, of them. You can't right? wash them out? Like you in can't a musical? Watch them. No, exactly. Yeah. I've watched those dreads right out of my Send them on their way. <laughs> I should have tried. I you didn't try not. that. I didn't try singing as I did it. That no, that's, that's yeah. where the magic is. Exactly. But And so then I was, not only was I a loser, then I had to shave my head, so I looked, uh, I, I don't look good with a shaved head. No, I think you would, man. You'd look menacing. I have a weird shaped head, uh, to be totally honest. <laughs> what is it shaped like? It's shaped like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is just disguising my head. It's wow. actually this shape. Yeah, that's my that skull right there. That's my skull. Wow, that's kind of frightening. It's weird. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? So yeah, do you? Were you into reggae music? Is that the thing? I was. I was a huge pothead. I was into reggae. Uh, yeah, I I loved reggae music. Do you like reggae music? I do like a bit of reggae music. Although you know the good thing about reggae music, you only have to buy one album. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they yeah, all yeah. sound the same. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah. If you yeah. have like a couple spoons in a bowl, you can be yeah, a yeah, reggae yeah. star. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say I look forward to your letters, but come on, you're not going to write a letter. No, you're not going to. are like, ah, yeah. Reggae musicians? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah they're like, yeah. Let it be, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been to Jamaica? I haven't been to Jamaica. I'd love oh, to go. I think you'd enjoy yourself I immensely. I heard they just there. sell, like, buds of weed like they sell, like, fruit on the street here. I don't here. know. Yeah. I've never been. By the time I went anywhere that had all that, I was done with it. I, you know, really? I, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, didn't, I made a movie once about pot. And That's then, true. I've seen it. Actually. Right. Yeah. I, and, and in the movie, we the pot we were smoking, we had to have the potness removed. Yeah, the, exactly. The THC content is taken out. No, uh, you just can't smoke weed for like 16 hours a day and film. Oh, you, movie. oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah. can. I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but they take they, they take the drugginess out because it, we did it in Britain, and the yeah. the, the British drug squad said, you, "No, you can't possibly have any sort of drugs in your drugs." They said it like that. Yeah. <laughs> no drugs. No drugs. They eh? were very nice about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, we couldn't possibly allow that. Yeah. Her Majesty has uh, spoken. <laughs> the Queen told the you you couldn't put the Queen in came your movie? and said wow. she was like, no bud on the set. It tastes real. It tastes real. Let's listen to some reggae music. <laughs> so the biggest pothead conversation ever is pretending you're the Queen smoking oh, yeah, weed. That's, yeah. that's what I bet the Queen smokes weed. Man. Yeah, she does. Yeah, <laughs> she, she does. does. Yeah, she you totally know, does. You know she's getting high up yeah, there. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> Queen. <laughs> I was fought. Let's get the jewels out. <laughs> Whoa, look around. Make a ball out of my crowd, man. Yeah. <laughs> the big thing to <laughs> Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. massage my. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's been a lot of testicular humor going around yeah, tonight. No, it's just sometimes it happens that way. I you found my, as you were talking about it backstage, I literally just found myself subconsciously doing this. And I don't know. I, I got some I like, kangaroo testicles. Oh, there, perfect. Good. Yeah, That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. They really are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they really are. <laughs> they feel like normal testicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what I, that's right, that's my big move. Yeah, I just, I just, I just uh, bang my head on a guy's yeah, testicles. Right. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. The ball, the, the ball banger, I call yeah, it. Yeah, no. So you been, what you been up to? Yeah, you, uh, uh, you invented anything faster than light neutrinos? Anything like that? No, it? that's that amazing. Is, though. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing that this is the forum at which Einstein was called out for being tutti frutti. Yeah, here. <laughs> This show. On this Let show. the record show. Go yeah. I mean, th that, th that'll be in textbooks one day. Right. Like they'll, we, they'll look yeah. back and go, and, the, the, you know, then it was only the late night douchebags who said that. Exactly. <laughs> then things you changed. Th do, you, do you think it's possible? Do you think that you can go back in time? Do you think that's possible? Uh, the thing is, if it's ever going to be possible, it's already possible. Ah, you say that, but then the, the conundrum or the paradox yeah. would be that you have to get to the point in which it's always existed for it to always have existed. It depends if you're going on the Back to the Future school of time travel or the Terminator 2 school of time travel. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yeah? That, it's yeah. two different... Two different schools of time travel. I tend to go to the Back to the Future school of time travel personally. Yes, well, and that's why you're no longer welcome. Exactly. Yet, <laughs> I see. Well, Einstein went Terminator 2, though. Yes, and, and he, he was, was wrong. He was like, Rise of the Machine. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's not Einstein, is it? That wasn't average. That was hey, a different I bet, you, I bet you I know what Arnold Schwarzenegger could do if he could go back in time. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. would have sex with a younger version of himself. Yeah. 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 Or uh, what well, he wouldn't uh, yeah. do. You know. I think he'd still do it. I think he would do it. I don't think he's looking at his life nah. being like, I blew it. He's nah. like, I've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> I have sex with the <laughs> I respect his dramatic flair because it was almost like an M. Night Shyamalan-ish twist. Because yeah. you're like, oh, you're like the maid, and they're like, oh, she's gross. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. <laughs> Seth can receive your letters at jimmyfowler.com. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I would like to go for the big cash big prize. Big cash prize. Yeah. Okay, the big cash prize is $50 in singles. Wow. You, accepted at any strip club across these United Perfect. States. I know that's true. Okay. <laughs> now, you have to answer one question. Okay. One question to win the big cash prize. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. True? No, 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 no. I'm, 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 set, I'm setting you up. I'm setting you up. That's a little, that's a little too easy. I that was it. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. The capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Yes. Within 1,000 years, yeah. when was beer invented? Uh, within 1,000 years? I'm going to say uh, 2,000 B.C. No? When? Earlier. Five thousand BC, ten thousand BC, no, 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 eight thousand BC, six thousand, six thousand BC. BC. Look at that. They got up in their feet. They That's like you. That's nice. That's so lovely. Yeah, you, you it's guys. good because I don't like them at all. Me either. It's crazy. I hate they, myself, they, so it feels no, very nice for that. No, you can't hate yourself. Look at you. You look great. You look like Thank James you. Bond with a beard and glasses. Exactly. I'm the Jewish James Bond. It's, uh, I've realized that I make movies that are so disgusting and filthy that I have to counterbalance it by dressing really nice when no. I, <laughs> when I, I go on I've got to be honest with you. I, I watched the movie, and I was like, this is, might be the sickest twisted, because uh, the stuff in there, I thought I thought I was the only one that had ever thought that. Yeah. 
You're and, not. No. <laughs> it, and I have there's a couple of performances that Michael Sarah and yeah. uh, Channing Tatum, uh, both Channing Tatum, do, that cameo that he does. It's, it's unbelievable. Is, <laughs> I, it, it, will he work again? I don't know. <laughs> I think he'll be okay. He'll be all right. He'll be yeah. all right. But it's, uh, it's yeah. very, you're going to get in trouble for this. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. yeah it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. No yeah. one will be allowed to do this again. This is it. This is too uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah. It, uh, and also, I there's think a lot of penises in the movie. Yeah, there's. Uh, that belong to giant monsters, which isn't. And they have sex with movie stars, yeah, which is yeah. not something you see a lot of in film. I have to say, though, <laughs> the exorcism of Jonah Hill is yeah. one of the, will go down as a classic piece of American cinema. I think it will. Yeah. It is fantastic. Thank you very fantastic. much. Someone had to exorcise him, so I'm glad it, it was. It really <laughs> is. Yeah. It really is something. I don't. Thank you so much. It's very. It's a bizarre movie. It's yeah. very bizarre. Yeah. I, I, are you in therapy? <laughs> The movie was kind of therapy in some ways for yeah. a lot of us. I, was, I thought there was maybe a kind of homoerotic thing going oh, on. Oh, for with, sure, yes. With you yes. and uh, Jay Baruchel, it's a very, it's a, it's a, a couple's movie. And me and James Franco, yeah, there's a lot. Well, Franco's the other woman, yeah. and then you yeah. are... It's a love triangle. It yeah, is it's, love a, it's a love triangle. And you can cut the sexual tension with a knife. <laughs> Or a giant demon's penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah more, more giant demon penises. Exactly. Than, uh, wow. <laughs> <Nice>. it's, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Did you ever, ever point when you were filming, you know when the giant monster comes and the thing's swinging? Yeah. And, uh, did you ever think, perhaps we've gone too far? Yeah. <laughs> we like that. That's when we really think we're onto something. If, right if we're standing there thinking like, oh, this, we, we can't do this. That's when we're like, we should definitely do this. <laughs> What did they do to you in Canada? Because <laughs> I've been, every time I go to Canada, they're nice. They gave me an award there last week. Look, I, I'm smoking a pipe now. That's how much nice. it is. Yeah, Look at that. I won an award. They gave you a pipe? No, 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 I just smoke okay. a pipe now. <laughs> I won an award. Because you're, squeeze, you're I'm distinguished now. Yeah, yeah. What was the award? Uh, it was the Sir Peter Ustinov uh, Award for Services to Comedy. Wow. That's great. I haven't won that. It's nope, a Canadian nope. award. I, you, you, you might. It's very Canadian because it's very small. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so, in fact, it's over there. Stay there. I'll, give it, I'll bring it over. You have I'll put it? it on the mantelpiece. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> so, I don't know why the music started, but... Uh, it's getting your award music. Yeah, right. So, I... That's uh, the tiniest award I've ever it's, seen it's in my tiny, life. It's tiny. That's so like Canada, to give a very yeah. humble, it's like, nice, we don't want to be in your face about it, but here's a little award. You Enjoy. know, <laughs> do you know uh, Will Arnett got one when he was there? He's Canadian, right? Everyone but me is yeah, winning these awards. Yeah, yeah. What the hell's so happening? Will Arnett, he gets one, and he's yeah. a Canadian, so he said, I watched his speech when he was getting it, and he said, is this a trap? <laughs> Because he's a Canadian. He's, do you have that self-deprecating Canadian thing? Do you worry about getting above yourself? I do. I think as a Canadian Jew, that's like as self-deprecating as it possibly yeah. gets in general. Uh, yeah, as you can see. I think in the movie we make fun of ourselves yeah, a lot. A it's lot. a self-deprecating yeah, yeah, movie in general. I can't believe Sarah did that in the bathroom, man. I know. Is, it's crazy, right? I, I was like... Wow, kid. He had no it, problems doing that either. I bet like, he did. I'd yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. I'd do it. I just don't want you to film yeah, it. That's one, all. One of the girls was not thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I can guess, but, yeah. I can guess what. Yeah, yeah, I can guess what. Yeah. You see that? You can Are say we it. Oh, we can say it. The one in the back. Yeah. 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 Of oh, yeah, because you haven't seen the movie yet, have you? No. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know uh, movie yet. All right, then. <laughs> There's uh, one in the back. Yeah, yeah oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw you, were leaving to get married. You still married? I am, thank God. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, would be, that would be super awkward. It would be super awkward. It would be really awkward if you went, actually, no. Actually, no, I'm yeah. literally getting divorced today, so You'll that's true. That, that, that'd be horrible. That'd be painful. Yeah. Did well. you know? I, did you actually just go out on that? Yeah, you, yeah, I, I realized that was... You didn't know. I As you were asking, you were like, this could be disastrous. It could be, yeah. <laughs> But then I thought back to the monologue and thought, it can't be as bad as that. It can't be that so, <laughs> it's fine. You and Baruchel, I think, would make a very cute couple. I think we would, too. Yeah, I, I hope I would be the dominant one in the couple. <laughs> That's all I think. That's not the way I read it really? at all, man. Really? No, yeah, no. Yeah. You were the cuddler, and he's the kind of <laughs> he's provider. The, he's the provider? I, mean? I am a bear. I'm a bear. Yeah, you're a bit of a bear. Yeah, you're a bit of a bear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I say, in the straight world, I'm just a chubby guy, but in the gay world, I'm a bear. Bear, yeah, which yeah. Is really
Way cooler. I think it's cooler, yeah. Yeah. Do you, have you got a bear bumper sticker on your car? I should. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bear. It's a little paw thing on it's the true. back. I look for it all the time, like, oh. I do live in West Hollywood, so I. <laughs> <laughs> and give away your address. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where, though? Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Seth Rogen. Couple. Yes. Then I will be the one who. Well, what's that coming? I go right <laughs> <laughs> from a third party. Yeah, <laughs> much like Michael Sarah in the bathroom. Exactly, to get the movie. <laughs> it's true. It's what that's so, the couple uh, I want to be. Yeah. So how how are things? Uh, in the, you're still married. Still, still married. Yeah. Yes, and, thank God. Uh, getting great. along okay? You getting along all right? So that's a major. Uh... Was, was she angry? Was she angry before? Yeah, I, until we got married, I didn't realize that there was like a veil of rage that I was living under. That I had. We'd been together like eight years, and right? I had right. Yeah. Married me, so rightfully so. But everything, there was some tension. There was tension as yeah. soon as they have the conversation. 
it's you're it's too late. And we had had the conversation like three years earlier or something like that. So I was an idiot. I was completely no, stupid. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine now. Everything's fine. I, I'm this exact. I've been with my wife about actually a little longer. But yeah. uh, but when we got married, it, it go better. Now it's better. Now, now it's, it's better. better. Yeah. She doesn't hate me a little bit for right. not having asked her to marry her. I wonder if there's <laughs> anything else you can do to hate them, make them hate you less, even more. I would love to know. If yeah, it's yeah. If there's anything. <laughs> I think listening, but that's no. Who can do that? I know. I'd rather be hated. Yeah, hit a little bit. I think it's fine. Definitely, definitely. So listen, I feel bad. I feel I was vainglorious showing you my award. I, you are rubbing salt in a wound yeah, yeah, to some I'm, degree. I'll be yeah. totally honest. Yeah, no, I I feel bad. Uh, so. Uh, so I apologize. It's okay. It's yeah. not a very big or fancy award. Hey, so hey, I'm... hey! <laughs> you don't harsh on my war. My award. I mean, this is my award. It is. And it's Sir, what is it? Sir Peter used to know for comedy award. Nice. Yeah, he he he's dead. <laughs> uh, so he doesn't know about it. If he were he alive, he doesn't know you won yeah, the yeah. award. If yeah. he if he were alive, he'd be like, "Can we give it to someone else?" Yeah. Uh, what about Seth Rogen? He's he's Canadian. Yeah, but he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where part of Canada are you from? Vancouver, Vancouver British Columbia. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the, uh... West Coast yeah, part that's of Canada. Uh, <laughs> I know that, I've been there. <laughs> Have you been at the Red Robins in there? Oh my god, it's so funny you bring that up. That's my parents' favorite restaurant. Really? Red I, Robin, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, like, grew up, it was like a joke among all my friends. It's like, you'd go to Red Robin and you'd see me and my family there. And they actually just closed the one that we went to all the time. There's only one Red Robin left in Vancouver. So they're that endangered is an species, outrage. technically, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But me and my dad, we literally went there last time I was in Vancouver. They have bottomless fries. <laughs> and I don't mean fries without pants on. Yeah. I mean unlimited. They have that in Vancouver. Exactly. They also yeah, have they that. Know. They got. If yeah. we could do that in a movie, we would. <laughs> I think in a way you did. You kind of did. I think, I think Danny McBride is the bottomless fry. He's the bottomless of fries oh of our movie. I'm scared of him now, after that movie. He's really nice in real life. Is he really? He would not eat you. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Yeah. Seth Rogen, everybody. We'll be right back. I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> Can never get rid of them, can you? <laughs>